G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do another puddle pour and blow it with the hair dryer. Uh, similar to the one I did the other day with the blues and the greens. Um, and then I put the, the white cell activator on top that I use for the blooms and blew it out. But I'm just gonna do one big puddle this time. If you saw the last one, you'll know what I'm talking about. I didn't use enough paint. Now the paint I'm using is Montmartre Studio Acrylic. That is the emerald green there. I've also got Cerulean Blue. And this one, I just sort of made it kind of a greyish blue, kind of like Payne's Grey with some phthalo blue and some black and a bit of purple. I don't exactly remember what I did with it. Now, the pouring medium I'm using, I just found this um, over, the, over the years, you know, I, I make different recipes and this is what I use for my clouds. So it's two parts Floetrol, half a part Liquitex pouring medium and one part water. And then I use three parts of this with one part of Liquitex Basics paints because they're quite thick. The Montmartre, these ones today, I've done one to one with that mixture. Oh, I have a drink of water. My mouth's so dry. Mm. So I've done that. The cell activator, which is the white. Uh, this time I'm doing three to one, same as I do with my blooms. So three parts Floetrol, one part Amsterdam acrylic uh, titanium white acrylic paint. So that's it there. Um, and then that's, I think that's all. What I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of white around the edges first just to help my paint flow a little bit better that'll do um, and now I'm going to do a puddle I should have put gloves on shouldn't I I thought no, I'm not going to get dirty but the paint the cups I've used for the previous video and I'm going to kind of do it in a bit of an oval so that I can have equal amounts of paint everywhere so the navy, I'm going to call it navy down first. And then, uh, yes, we'll do some of this. This green works really nicely next to this blue. A little bit of this cerulean, not too much because I don't really like how it reacts with the other colours. And I'm just going to use this all up. I'd rather have too much than not enough. It's probably way too much now. And then the green on top. All right. Let's clean my hands. Let's put some of this white down there. Hopefully enough of the white this time. There we go. It's quite a lot, isn't it? That's enough. Hope that's enough. Hair dry, on low, on cool, let's go. Get to those corners. Woohoo! Other corner. Oops, I blow a bit hard there. Blow the white over the top. I do <laughs> it's okay isn't it I've still got a lot of paint left on the surface there's something in there oh, that's my tweezers all right I probably had a little bit too much paint oh, it's just a blob of paint I'm going to put a bit more white on the middle and then just blow across again just because I think I've got too much um, paint there so let's blow the white over the other paint. Love that corner. Might leave that one for now. Quite thick that paint there. I think I'm going to have to 
go over it even though I didn't want to. Oh, I'm going to have to. Oh, and there goes all my beautiful lacing. Okay, well, that's better. Oh, well, maybe that's what I need to do. I mean, I to put down my puddle first, blow it, then put the white on and blow it. What do you think? That would work, wouldn't it? That's really pretty. Now, this is not something that you're going to pick up and tilt, okay? It's just blow and leave, <laughs> so to speak. All right. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm happy with that. So still experimenting, obviously. I'm always experimenting. But um, yeah, that's, mm, I like that. I'm just going to give this a bit of a torch over here, pop some bubbles. Let's see if I can get any lacing up under here. It's a, it's a little bit come up, look at that. So I think I'll do that next time. Do my puddle blow it out without the white just to spread it then put the white on and blow the white over the top otherwise a if I only blow it once a my paint was too thick and b I didn't get enough white coverage it kind of went down so that's my that's my way of thinking I know some of you guys appreciate me sort of talking out loud for what, what I'm thinking <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's go down for a close-up. Love this. Oh my gosh. I was never one to be able to do hair dryer pores. It just didn't work for me. Oh, where's my light? Sorry. Actually, really, really like this. It's minimal. You know, there's not, not too many colours. My blues and greens, which I love, with a little pop of white. I managed to get the colour all the way out to the corners. But I will experiment and do what I said earlier. Put the puddles down. Blow them. Uh, to get good coverage. And then put the white on. Look at that. Wow, that's that white Amsterdam paint with the flow troll that that does that. It's so reactive. That's what we use when we're doing the um, the blooms. Whether you tilt your blooms or whether you spin your blooms, it doesn't really matter. Spinning, I think, personally works better. So there's a few areas there that haven't got any lacing, but the colours are really pretty. Like they're nicely blended. I'm having trouble getting an accurate colour here, but when I put my photo up, I'll, I'll do the correct colour when I do my photo. That's kind of it. <laughs> but the white's just looking a little bit on the, <clears throat> the yellow side. I'm getting some really, really pretty um, lacing. It's a really pretty corner too, isn't it? Look at that. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, once my little bottle of my cloud mixture is empty, um, I'm just going to try this just with flow troll and paint um, and just see how it goes. I, I think it will work. Um, I hope it will work. I don't know that the Liquitex pouring medium adds that much to the story, really. But uh, we'll see if, if I can get a similar result just from flow troll and paint like Floetrol and Montmartre paint for the actual puddles and then Floetrol and Amsterdam for my white to create.
create that gorgeous lacing so pretty all right so happy that worked you guys excited doing the happy dance the happy dance sorry gonna make you get car sick there <laughs> all right i'll um i'll see you real soon for the next little experiment i've got lots of time on my hands so you're gonna see a few videos from me hope you don't mind <laughs> you can put your feet up on the couch grab a cuppa and um have a julie marathon all right see you real soon thanks for watching Love you all. Bye for now.